Right there is where we're about to head. Want to be the only way you're going to be able to have a car like this that you want. The only way you're going to be able to be able to go to a hotel to work. Follow me on Instagram. Give us a 12K. We on our way. And you're back testing to actually point your eyes to the things that you need to see because the market is very repetitive. It does the same things over and over and over and over. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video. And as you can hear in the background, yes, I'm about to take a shower. But before I got in the shower, I remembered, I was like, damn, I got to do this vlog. And I just woke up maybe like 30 minutes, an hour ago. So I just thought it was just good to just give you that fresh face and show you guys what it's really like to wake up as an entrepreneur. And all right, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But yeah, it's all just time. I am about to take a shower. Today's Sunday and we're about to get this day started. Nonetheless, we have a video that I have to get edited and posted by. I'm trying to get it posted by 12 p.m. Right now, it's about maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to have it posted within the next three, four hours. And then the video you're watching right now, which is the vlog, is going to be posted tonight. So today is going to be double upload. So we got a lot of work to do. We got to go to the gym. We got to do VIP sessions. We got to be active inside the VIP chat. We got to create content and create some new reels and shorts for Instagram and YouTube. And this is what it's really like. The weekend doesn't mean you just sit down and relax. Nah, it's just any other day. Today is just like any other day. The weekends mean nothing to me. Every day I do the same exact thing. I may not trade today, but every single thing else exactly the same gym content creation give value change lives let's get to work and right now i just got a cool little shake for myself right now i'm about to head to i'm not sure yet i'm actually looking right now but right now i'm at wawa that's where i got the shake but i'm looking at which hotel i want to go to because i am going to go to a hotel to go work so when i say work i still got to post that video within an hour got to get it all edited i'm gonna create a whole bunch of reels and everything i'm gonna also do the vip session more than likely at the hotel later on tonight, at like after I get my girl from work, so she can also come there too. And yeah, so that's the plan as of right now. So I'm about to see which one I should book. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the embassy again, just because it's it gives me everything I need, and the gym is also right there too. That's another main thing. I need to make sure that the gym is right there, no cap. And the embassy, it's all everywhere I need. Here we go. Well, right there is where we're about to head. So I'm going to see you there. I got a little drive ahead of me, probably like a 15, 20 minute drive, but it's Sunday, so we should be straight. Let's keep getting this work in. Just because it's Sunday doesn't mean it's a time to be off. The only way you're going to get to your dreams, the only way you're going to accomplish your dreams, you're going to get in the position that you actually want to be. The only way you're going to be able to have a car like this that you want, the only way you're going to be able to be able to go to a hotel to work is by working hard, doing the things most people don't want to do. I find ways to make the boring work fun. Like, I don't want to sit here and edit for three hours. I don't. I don't want to listen to myself talk for three hours at that. I don't want to talk to a camera and hear myself even more. But I got to do it anyway. Most people aren't comfortable with doing that. And that's why I'm going to have the results that I get. And a little tip, most people don't like being in front of a camera. Most people aren't good at talking. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. The better you get at it easier I guess and we made it to the location I'm about to show you guys the view I'm on the parking I'm at like the parking building right now the hotel is really over here but I park across the street at the apartment building at the parking building so yeah let me just show you the view it's an amazing view there's a reason I come here all the time all right look at this view look at this over here this guy probably think I'm recording huh? Fuck him. but this view is crazy and it just goes all the way around I haven't stayed here and I haven't stayed here. These are two that I'm staying at next, but I'm not gonna stay there until my girl can stay with me. But I'm about to go over here. The pool's over there. It's a view you've seen already before. But we about to get over there, so let me just teleport real quick. All right, so right now, I'm, we're just getting the video uploaded. So what is the video uploads called? This is gonna be the importance of having proper risk management and that's what the video is gonna be on. So essentially, I'm just gonna be putting half of the session that I did yesterday with VIP, which was an amazing risk management session. I'm gonna be putting half of it inside of this video for you guys to watch. So I'm uploading that as of right now. And that's the video that you guys have seen earlier in the day. Both of these videos are coming out today. So it's gonna be a little bit of a mind fuck time-wise, but nonetheless, the work is getting done. Nonetheless, the value is being given. And that's really it. So now that I got my SD card back in my camera and I'm not editing the video no more, now my main thing is I gotta make some shorts and I gotta make some clips for my reels because one thing, I also did a, I showed you guys in a previous video the new types of reels that I'm doing 
and like how I'm essentially just reusing a lot of my YouTube clips, not YouTube clips, but YouTube videos that do good. And I'm just like putting long form videos in there. And so far they're doing good. I even asked like my, oh, I even asked like my, uh, my followers which stories they like more. I did a little poll and so far, so far percentage wise, 75% say they like the new reels, 25% say they like the older reels. I figured they would like them because if you guys like the vlogs and you like the content that's in the vlogs, there's no reason why you wouldn't like the content just on Instagram now. You're just changing where you're watching it at, but it's in the same form at the end of the day. And that's what's really important. So right now I'm about to hop into CapCut, edit a couple of these reels. I'm probably gonna get maybe like three or four so I could post those three or four today. And then once I get the vlog from tonight, like the vlog you're watching now, fully edit it, then tomorrow I'll use this video for tomorrow's reels, if you're catching my drift. That's kind of my routine as of right now when it comes to creating content and everything. Because since I don't really have much trading to do on the weekend since the market's closed, content, give value. That's all I do all weekend. That's what we're gonna continue to do. Then after I get all done these clips, we're gonna head to the gym that's right over there and get these games. So I need, the, I need the key to be able to leave, but I don't need it to come in. That's odd. Is anybody in the gym? Hello? Anybody? Looks like we got the gym to ourselves. Oh, and it got AC. It feels amazing in here. I forget which gym it was. I think it was the Hilton. Bro, they got no AC in that gym. It was horrible. But I bet we got all the necessities in here. I got my laptop with me because I still got this video uploading. Now, Wi Fi is not the best. It's not the best. We're only up $75 for VIP so far for today. It's all good. It's all good. It'll go up more by the end of the day. But the main thing is getting this video uploaded. That's at 50%. It'll get done. All right, but now I got to get all this stuff off me. I'm ready to work out. Just got done all my editing. Got a couple reels made. I posted one reel on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Give us the 12K. We on our way. But look, these were the reels that I was talking about. And the reel that we just posted about five minutes ago, 65 views so far. It doesn't matter for how much I make. I'm like, bro, where did this money go? And then I realized. And yeah, it's a whole bunch of videos. Just like that. And they're doing good so far. They're getting about maybe two, 3,000 views a video. And that's not bad. Not bad for repurposing content I already made. All I gotta do is spend the time to actually get it edited and actually spend the time and put purpose and intention behind the original content, which is this, because this right here is what I'm gonna be using to essentially repurpose and put inside of my rules. You know what I mean? So as long as I'm putting as much intention behind the words I'm saying in these videos, I'm giving as much value and I'm making them as entertaining as possible, all the content I can make from that is also gonna be beneficial because if it works on here, there's no reason it can't work on other apps. If it works on YouTube, it can work on Instagram for the most part. TikTok may be a little bit different, but fuck TikTok. Now it's time to get this workout in, you know what I'm saying? Favorite part of the day. Favorite part of the day. We're gonna get the 20 pounds. We're gonna get the 20 pounds for curls. We may, I, I've been trying to use them for like my shoulders, like trying to get used to it. I'm not there yet. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not there yet. I can still do most of my shoulders with like the 10 pounds. Keep in mind, I'm not crazy husky. Like, I, I'm fit for my body weight, but I need to gain more weight. I'm like a good 140 right now. I'm light as shit. I'm trying to gain a good 45 pounds. You may be looking at me like, damn, 45 pounds? You can't do that. I may not be able to do it overnight, but I could do it over time. That's the main thing. And I just got to make sure I eat more. That's my main thing. I need to make more money so I can eat better foods and eat more of those foods. Because until I make a whole bunch of money... I'm not gonna be able to afford all the foods that I would like to eat, you know what I mean? That's why we keep working. It's not over till the job's finished. It's never over. The job's never finished. One thing I will always give you advice on, never get satisfied. Set goals, but also set goals that you plan to actually hit. Don't set a goal like, oh, I'm gonna be a billionaire, and just because you're setting that goal because you're like, yeah, I might not hit it, but if I aim for billionaire, I'll be getting way further. No, hit goals, have goals that you can actually hit. Say I want to make $100,000 because once you make $100,000, you'll realize how easy it is to make a million. But if you set that original goal all the way up there, even if you make $100,000, you're going to be like, damn, I'm still so far away from a billion. 
You don't want to do that. Have realistic goals, goals that you can achieve. You don't see me saying, I want 25,000 VIP members. You don't see me saying, I want to risk $25,000 to trade next week. No, I have small goals first, short-term goals and long-term goals. You need to have both. My short-term goals for VIP is 200 members. Right now we're at about 173. My short-term goals for YouTube, 10,000 views average a video. Right now we're averaging maybe, I say 2,000 views a video, maybe 3,000 views. So we're not there yet. We're about 30% way there. Trading, I want to be averaging a good, I want to average a good $5,000 a week off trading and I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. The job's not done, but once all those get hit, I already know what the next goal is in mind. I already know. Man, I love being able to come to places like this, bro. This is what I've been, this is what I trade for, bro. This is really what I trade for. I trade for the freedom. I trade to be able to come wherever I want, to be able to go to the gym wherever I want, to have an office wherever I want. I don't care how hard things get. I don't care how much I want to give up sometimes. I don't care how much pain I have to go through. This is the life that I want. And this is what I've been dreaming of. So I got to make sure I do everything in my power to keep it going and to only get further. Because trust me, you can have it all and lose it all so easily. But once you've been through it, you know what to do for next time. Bye says be kill, man. Bye says be killer. But we gotta get him husky. No pain, no gain. All right, now, my girlfriend just texted me that she's about to go on her breaks. So you know what that calls for? A little smoke break. I got a little workout in so far. I've probably been working on maybe 15, 25 minutes, something like that. Got a little pump, got a little pump, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna continue working out just because I don't really got much else to do today and I still got a good amount of time until I gotta do that VIP session later on in the day. So we just gonna keep working out and finding things to record. I tell you guys this every weekend. The weekends I struggle to find things to record. I ain't gonna lie because my life isn't that very entertaining, being honest with y'all. But we gonna figure it out. We make it happen every single day. And if I can make it happen every single day with a boring ass life, so can you. Pick up that camera, start recording your life, start documenting the journey. I, I recommend all of you do it because there's only, there's only benefits from it. There's no negative, trust me. The one thing about this hotel that's cool, look at this thing. It goes all the way up like this. Shit looking crazy. Cool little hotel. Then the gym and everything. Got the hotel. I want this one, cause this one has a, has like a glass so you can see everything through. And then we go on down. Right, I just got, I just left the gas station just now. I already went with my girl on her break and everything, so I got that over with. It's only 2.15, and instead of going all the way back to the hotel and paying for parking again, just to leave, and then had to come back with her and pay for parking a third time, the one thing I'm going to kind of talk about once I get home, and that's the main reason that it is the topic, because that's gonna be the main thing that gets you guys to click on today's video. Yes, I came up with that idea while I was sitting on that sky rise at the hotel, looking at the beautiful view, getting all this good vibration and good frequencies. And I was just thinking, I was like, damn, think money, think money, think money. And then somebody texted me while I was in the gym asking for help. It was like, it just came to me. He was asking a question. And the question that he was asking me is essentially what we're gonna be going over. So the answers and questions you guys are always looking for look to yourself and sometimes all it is is just being aware everything you need to know is always in front of you everything you need you already have all right right now we about to roll um, well i'm about to roll my girlfriend has got some drinks i just had a frozen yogurt where is this thing at put on in front of the camera mm. to drop something on my leg Okay, okay, and we are back. And we're actually at the crib right now. I just got back. We were going to go to the hotel, but it ended up being a lot later by the time we ended up getting our food, by the time we ended up going to the stories that we ended up going to. So right now, I'm back at the crib and I'm about to get everything set up on my computer. The chat's already set up, but I still need to make sure that I actually get there myself, you know? 
That's the main thing. I got to be there. If I'm not there, then it's just a whole bunch of people in a call by themselves. Let me get these glasses off. I just got home. Like, I literally just got home, getting everything into my room. Everything is moving slow. Patience, though. Patience, though. They'll be ready to get the value in five minutes. No cap. But here, nonetheless, we're about to get this session going on. The main thing we're going to do is just have a back testing session. I made sure I advise everyone to make sure that they have questions to ask because I want to be able to help everyone specifically on their problems, any comments they have, any concerns they may have, all those things. But we're just going to have a calm back testing session, maybe have a 30, 40 minute session. Nothing too crazy. Just go over the market, everything I'm looking forward to, maybe go over some trade ideas and just get a good, get the team ready for the week, essentially. So I'll see you guys when you're not back testing to become the best trader in the world. You're back testing to become confident in your system. You're back testing to actually point your eyes to the things that you need to see because the market is very repetitive. It does the same things over and over and over and over. It's just up to us as a trader to be aware of what's happening. You know what I mean? It's going to keep happening. And there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to have points in your trading where you're going to be like, damn, this was happening in front of my face for this whole time and I was never aware of it. There's a lot of times. Like when I started being aware of like the when price was running above old highs and lows during London session, I was like, bro, then I back tested it and it was happening every day for the last six months. And I was just not aware of it. And it's crazy how something could be in front of your face the entire time. But until you're actually pointing your attention to it and actually like paying attention to it, you're never going to notice. That's why it's important. When I tell you all these areas and all these different concepts and all these different things in the free courses inside the sessions, it's important for you to go see it yourself because that's going to build the confidence for you. And once you see it, it's totally different. And you got to actually see it with your eyes because I can see it, but perspective is everything. We could both be looking at the same chart, but you could be looking at it like it's a downtrend. I could be looking at it as an uptrend. As crazily as that sounds, perspective is everything. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure that you understand it. But this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to mark up the previous days, highs and lows. The Asian session range, which is already marked up for me, and I'm gonna watch any one hour gaps. And I'm essentially gonna be just be trading with the trend. If you guys, for any of these trade ideas, I'm just gonna be trying to follow the previous day's trend. If the day before was bearish, ideally I would look to see where a good sell area would be. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna annotate everything that happened. So any area that would have made sense for me to take a trade, I'm gonna write down everything that happens for it. And it's just something to note because if you could see something that happened before, there's no reason why you can't predict it to happen again. I've done it plenty of times. What do you think a winning trade is? If you have like a really good entry, like a sniper entry, what do you think that is? You essentially predicted it in a way because if you got a very low like entry to where you almost got it at to the point, what do you think that is? That is predicting the market to an extent. Yeah, we're not fucking magicians, but you know what I mean? Like to an extent, you are predicting what's going to happen. If you're getting in at an area and expecting it not to go somewhere else, and if that actually does happen, you predicted the market. And the only way you can actually predict the market is going back in time, seeing what happens, seeing the reasoning behind it so that you can predict it in the future. All right. That session is now officially done. I'll probably give you guys a little clip or two, but honestly, this is where we're going to end the video because I forgot that I still have this video to post. I forgot the fact that today's a double upload. So yeah, but nonetheless, it was a productive day. We did a whole lot of work. We just got to make sure that we come and prepare this week. I made sure I went over everything when it comes to risk management. I went over how much money I made last week, how much I'm going to risk this week, and all that everything when it comes to questions, comments, concerns, and charts. Now we're just ready for the week. The Hanko Trade account is ready for the week. My fund account is ready for the week, and I'm just ready. To, I'm ready to change lives, give value, create content, and become the best version of myself I can possible and make as much money as I can possible. So with that being said, if you want to learn how I trade, make sure you check out the free trading course completely free. If you want to join a community of like-minded individuals such as me and the people I'm live with every single day, we trade live, send signals live, and actually just educate each other to grow to the best potential every single day. Make sure you join VIP Trading Network. We have educational sessions every day, every week. The grind don't stop. The value don't stop. And once you're ready to actually start trading, get Hanko Trade. That's my preferred broker. I'm going to be trading that account this week. I didn't trade it that much last week, but we're going to be trading it this week with the funded account. So with that being said, stay safe, stay productive. Let's have a great night. Let's have a great week. Let's stay productive and stay motivated by the fear of being average.